Hi guys, Detective Jim. Hi oh, Detective Paul, we're out again for you. Hello boys and girls, welcome back. I'm Detective Jim, Detective Paul. Uh, we're out again for you. Um, back on the field where I found the hammer and we've got quite a lot of stuff around here. Certainly have. Uh, sorry about the wind noise, I'm going to try and show a couple of the wind. Uh, beautiful day. Oh, it's a lovely day. Clouds. Not many clouds are out. Clouds <laughs> out. Not many clouds up in Jim Norsworth's weekend, but. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, let's see what we can do today. Uh, North Coast Heights today. But, uh, let's get down. Yeah, let's just get there so we can get some wind and uh, catch we'll you. on the next. First of all, I'm in mean, all metal. Uh, not my sensitivity down about four bars. Uh, threshold and minus four is what Dawn uses on quiet fields. Uh, just wait for the bong, I suppose. Uh, this came in at 80, 81. So yeah, this is where the hammer came from off here. So yeah, ring in the park. On to the next. Well guys, big Jim McClaskey. And uh, let's see what he's got. It's in the lump. It's green, isn't it? It's green, but it's nothing really. Uh, uh, just a bit of rubbish. No worries! Right, catch on the next one. On to the next! Right, boys and girls, Paul's got a target somewhere. He says he's giving a oh. cracking sound. Try to get you out of the sound, uh, wind. Oh, there it is. There it is. I reckon that's silver, James. Uh, yeah, by looks it looks of silver. Looks like a bit of a silver spoon or something, yeah. eh? There you go, guys. A bit of silver. Well done, Paul. Hey, I wonder if it's a piece of that spoon what you found last Could time. Be. Definitely silver. Well, I hope it is. Cool. Silver in the pot, guys. Catch you on next one. Oh. All right, boys and girls, Paul's got a target. What's that? What number are you getting, Paul? Fifty-eight sixty. Fifty-eight sixty on the AT Pro, uh, AC Max, sorry. It's small. Right. Same as what you've got, I think. Yeah, it's something. Booby prize! On to the next. Sorry about the snotty nose. Hi, guys. Oh. Paul's still in the same hole and he's come across another target. 
It's a four hour. It's a tiny, tiny button. It's that tiny, it keeps blowing away. Two for one. Right, boys and girls, just a clog class. That's all it is. There you go, just a clog class. Catch your neck. Alright, boys, if you're going to go target, I'm just in here. Certainly in here somewhere. There we go. Is, guys, well, that look like a tiny little shoe there. If you look at that, put your figure on top of it, or something I don't know. I'll uh, get Paul come and have a look and work on. Alright, right, boys and girls, uh, no target, and it's another one of these. Uh, I'm not too sure what they are. I found one uh, last week. Not last week, the week before. Uh, could be a drawpole. But not 100% sure. Alright, guys, catch you on the next one. You ready? Yeah. Right, boys and girls. Definitely a bag seal, that mate. Definitely a bag seal. Oh! Oh! Let me just get my water. We only got one camera today because I forgot to put the SIM card in the other camera. So a massive shit. What are you? I know. Clem. Right, guys! <laughs> Special guest, Watch. Treasure Ed. He's one of our YouTube uh, enthusiasts. He's one of our posse. Yeah, I just thought I'd put a sticker on a bottle for him. And this is Treasure Ed Parrot Clean. So let's have a go. We'll find out a better name for Treasure Ed Spray. Don't we like this out on it, James? No. Probably when it's dried up, you'll probably get Yeah. Of it, but apart from that. Bag seal! Alright, catch on there. Oh, hang on. I've got a target over there we're going to have a look at. We'll just pause you. We'll pause you and catch you over there. Right, guys, young Jim McClaskey has got a bit of an unusual one. Can you tell what it is yet? I can tell what it is. It's an acorn. <laughs> It's definitely an acorn. Well, I think that's a drawful. That could be. Well, Craigie reckons the tobacco tin lid handles. All right. Well, that's what. But if does anybody have any clue? It's bronze. Could be a fence finial. Oh yeah. Shape of an acorn. The size of Jim's. We'll not go there. Right, catch you on the next. On to the next. Well, guys, 
You can't hear it, but I can. Buzz, buzz. It's just there. It's a coin, James. It's a coin. Semi gloves off. It's a George, yeah? I'm just make him out there. Sure, I think that's a lizard, mate. Eh? I think that's a lizard. No, it's George, that. Definitely George. See any date on it, James? Give it to the man with the eyes. It's around 19... 1986. Can't be that young. 19 what? It's definitely not 1986. Uh, just give me a minute, I'll come back to you. Right boys and girls, it's 1934, so yeah, it will be a George. Well done mate. First coin of the day. Coin in the pot. Road just out the hole. Well, boys and girls, Paul's got some kind of weird target. We think it's uh, a button. We think it's a button. But we're not sure. Room, it could be a shotgun. Yeah. Middle. We're not sure what it is. But it's I'm having it's a shotgun. That's look at black. Yeah, uh, could be. On to the next. Right, boys and girls. I uh, just took this target and pulled this out. Uh, if anyone knows what that could be, please let me know. Put a uh, comment in the comment box. Let me know what you think it could be. It's very heavy. Uh, could it be a piece of foul? Not a golf club. Right, I'm going to change my batteries on the detector and get back to it. Catch you in a bit. Well guys, silver number seven for our field. Not as good as a hammered. But there it is. Well, that. It's a big one. Power up polish. Treasure head. <laughs> Only doing it because he's there, mate. It's definitely silver. Yeah. I'll just hit this frame, man. Well, Lee. Just give it to the side of the rub. Yeah, people shouting at you now. Yeah, I'll do that with silver. One shilling, 1933. Well done, mate. Uh, I put a. Uh, is, is it full silver or. 1933, it might be half and half. half. I think that's half, to be honest. Uh, but I'll put a, a thing on it. Well done, that, mate. Silver in the pot. Well done. You know what this means? Well done, mate. Ready? Ball in the silver hand. <laughs> 
Silver! Well done, mate. Alright, boys, the old struggle target, and it's this. Now I've got a clue what it is, could be rubbish. Uh, I'll get it clean up later, just in case it is something. Alright, catch on next. Alright, boys and girls, Paul's got a target. Booby prize! Booby prize! Right, guys, you're on the next one. Well, guys, follow me. It's a big one. It's a big ass coin, that, mate. Isn't it? Let me get back to you. There you go. Alright, just clean it up. See can we get It's a bit out. toasty guys. Ooh. It's a bit wet now. Yeah, I think it's a Georgia. Yeah, it's only a Georgia. It's a bit toasty. You can see a few bits. It could clean off, probably. You on the money today, Paul? Coin number three, guys. Into the pocket. I don't find that hardly anything today. It's looking like... I'm going to be doing the night fever this time. Just the... Another bloody silver. Six pence. 1940. But look at the colour of that though. That's I've had them and they're black like bronze. Yeah. Look at that. Nineteen forty four. They've got to be gold on there, mate. Gotta be. Well done. Right, boys and girls, I finally got a coin. I've been here, what, about two hours? Yeah. About two hours. Paul's on coins after coins after coins. And I get my first one. And there you go. I do believe. That's <laughs> Silver. Let's go to white. There we go. There. We go. Hang on, James. It's a Lizzie. Or a Vicky. It's, it's a, a Vicky. Vicky. There we go, guys. Look at that. There she is. <laughs> Jim Paul spit and polish. Well, it's not his treasure heads. <laughs> ah, but. Uh, There you go, it's a bunhead. What is it though? It's a big one. Uh, I think that's a shelling mate. Uh, oh God. I can just about see the date. 1815. 1815 silver! Well, you know what this means James? That's silver dance. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Silver! Silver! Nice. Number three. Oh, number four. Four for today. Oh, to the next! Well guys, 
don't put me on to a good thing, especially on these quiet fields. I've never really used it in all methods. But bloody hell, it's paying off today. Let me just get rid of this. I'm trying to block the wind to sunshine. Right guys, you wanna join me? Definitely a coin. And I am got a clue what it is. Uh, a claw? Or something? Yeah, I haven't got a clue what that is. Anyone knows? Please leave a comment below. Catch you on next. Right, boys and girls, I've got a target. I have pulled it out. Dropped it again. And it's this. Uh, it is square. Oh, what, what, what? Some feet, you know, is there's definitely a pattern on the edge. More fingers and thumbs today, guys. Uh, yeah, if anyone knows what that could be, please leave a comment below. That's on next. Everybody's still parked our coin. Just cleaning it up now. Just toasted, guys. Yeah, toast. Hey, you found it in that hole. Yep. Right, catch on there. Right, boys and girls, got a target in there. Well, had a target in there, took it out. And I believe that is a coin weight. Nice and round. Bit of lead. Yeah, definitely a coin weight, that guys. Right, catch on this one. Right, boys and girls, got a target there. I pulled it out and it's a button. And as you can see, it's got a bit of gold gilding on it. Uh, I'll give it a proper clean later on and take a picture. Right, catch you on next. Right, boys and girls, Paul's got a target. Can you guess what it is yet? Uh, if anyone knows, please leave a comment below. Is that grass in it there, Paul? Yeah, I think it's just stuck in there to grab yeah. that. Right, if anyone knows what that is, please leave a comment below. I'll tell you what it is, James. A Dubri Firkin. <laughs> On to the next. Well, guys, my next good found. Looks like a bit of something. Something, isn't it? Isn't it? Hmm. On to the next. Right guys, here's one for you. I thought it was a penny, but it ain't. I think it's a button. No, it's not a button. See that? A fine... A pint to... It's a token, a pant to consume. See it? Yeah. Cool. A pint to consume. Nothing on back. 
See it? Yeah. Cool. Talking in the park. Get me a pant somewhere, that <laughs> nearest pub. On to the next. Well, guys, it's very quiet here. I've not had a signal up until this. It's gone very quiet now. It has. Let me just get my toothbrush. Oh, there's definitely something on it. Yep. I think it's a George. A George? Yep. yep. Georgie yeah, Pardie. Yeah. Want to quit Luke James? See yep. if you can get a date off it. Not a way of cleaning up, a proper clean. It's there on the bottom, but I can't see it. Well done. I said the field's been very quiet. Just check the hill. I'll check the hill. Oh. Thank you, sir. Well Number eight. For the next. Well, I've got no target. Solid eighter. Wanna look at this place? Very heavy with the air. Uh, Solid 80 at that. With the water in it. A copper ring. A copper ring. On to the next. <laughs> right, boys and girls, another target. Got another. Dug it out, and it's. Uh, hang on. I 
I definitely know what this is. Go on. Something decent. Two pound! It's two quid. Two quid coin. There you go. Well, let's stay on that how it goes. Isn't it mad? You gain coins from fucking 1800. Yeah. Sorry for swearing. And look at state of that for a two pound coin. Jeez. I've got a good signal here. Yeah. Right, I'll be over in a minute. Two pounds! Uh, just get the date for you. 1974 to 19... 2000 something. There you go. Spendies. That's your next. I want to spoon you. Pig and spoon. It was deep. In deep. It Look was how deep it was. Deep. Crop caress. <laughs> Can't see anything on Give it. Give a good signal though, don't we? Yeah. I like a spoon. Yeah, the fields have gone very quiet at the moment, haven't they, Paul? We're on grass though, haven't we? Yeah, we're on grass. Uh, well, as you can see, the plough is just there. We've both come on the grass for a bit. Bloody deep, that. But it's very quiet. Blooming deep. It is blooming deep. Uh, yep, we've got, Paul's got uh, these for us. Uh, the harnesses. Uh, Detector Pro. Brought to you by Regtons. Detector Pal. Uh, Detecting Pal. Uh, from Regtons, how much were these for? 25 pound off. So, yeah. With your 10% discount on Gym Disc, you get it for about 23. And they, uh, and they work. They do work. We're not half as tired today, are we? No, our hands are not as. Uh, my hands ain't cramping up. Yeah. Cause the only thing with these garrets, they're a heavy machine. Clips on your shoulder. Well yep. through one arm. Just like that. Yeah, Paul was doing it right. All you do? Clips on your shoulder. You come with a loop. That's attached to that like that. Okay. Now you can either put your loop over there and bring it down, but we find best just a nice heart come round there clip it in and then this hangs on the inside of your arm perfect and the hoop goes through your shoulder Yep, your hoop goes through, through this shoulder. one, your left arm through this one, or right, oh, they're right ambidextrous. Yeah. Round the back, and there you go. And yeah, put it one way, I'm going to tell Digger Dawn about these because she's started to get a bit of a sore arm with hers. Yeah. So yeah.
detector pal, Regtons, use gym disc. I'm in the 25 pound knob with your gym disc yeah. and about 23. So the bargain. Yeah, bargain. Saved a lot of weight. I mean, we've covered miles today and don't even feel, uh, what's the word? Arms that are knackered. No, not knackered. Uh, Hoot. Fatigued. You don't feel fatigued with them. So yeah, Dawn, if you watch this, Regton's Detector Pro. Give them a ring, get one. But yeah, brilliant, absolutely. It takes some getting used to. You've got to unclip if you're digging the deepest hole. But for surface farms and stuff, you can dig in and lift. And that's all there is to it. And you can put this out of the way. Pinpointer on the little knacky pinpoint. One pound odd off Amazon. No. These, they're pound. Oh. Uh, I'm uh, two pound postage from wish.com. Oh, wish. I uh, don't know if Rexton tells him or anything like that, so I'll have to ask On to the next! Well guys, we can't laugh deep today because there's only one camera between them, so Jim's got to keep running backwards and forwards. But yeah, there it is guys. Take me glove off. It's a toaster, isn't it? Yeah, it's crusty. Yeah, there's ain't gonna be much on that. Yeah, that's toasted that one, lad. Toasted, but no butter. On to the next. Well, boys and girls, uh, target, do it out. And you know what? It's an old coin weight. That's two off here now. That's two today. Cool. Catch you on next. Well, boys and girls, that's another day for us. Lots of finds. Uh, this side is poles. On this side is mine. So these balls, this is just a bunch of junk, pieces of red pipes, uh, some kind of tube, uh, whatever that is, more lead. You found a spoon and you found there's pieces of rubbish out there. That's Button. A button, a clog, a clog clap. One, two, three, four, five, six uh, pennies and a half pennies. That's uh, a lead seal. Uh, he probably might get some of that uh, if he looks under the microscope. Uh, this ornate little thing. Now I've got a clue where it's off. But it's definitely something. Uh, a couple of buttons. That's a nice button if you clean it up. You clean it up, Paul, and take That'll it That'll be a livery button there somewhere. Yeah, something like that. Uh, he found this. And it says a pint to come in. So, some kind of token. Uh, you found a silver spoon, well, part of a bowl, and he had two silvers. Uh, I have a uh, shilling, uh, 1933, so that's pretty cool. And I think that's a, that's a sixpence, 1944. I'm not sure if they're half silvers. Well then, go find them, Paul. You two, three bits of silver there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, nice one. Right, come on, mine. This is all the junk abound. Uh, just 
yeah, whatever it is, look. Things like that, I haven't got a clue. Definitely not got a clue what that is. Uh, this, which is an acorn, I think it might be a draw pole or something, that's like that. Uh, rubbish. A clog, a clod, a clog. Clod. Class. I never did say that properly, you know. Uh, a button. This here, I'm going to clean it up because there's some type of pattern on there. But it's it's just, of some sort, isn't it? Just, I think it might be a square nail or something like that. This here, uh, not got a clue, but it's heavy. This here is, uh, I'm not sure, but I think there should be a little figure on top. Because uh, that's a shoe there. Uh, it could be stand of a soldier. Yeah, something like that. A coin. No one of them. I found one of them before. Uh, two uh, coin weights. They're pretty cool. Uh, a two pound coin. I think my best find for today is this uh, Elizabeth. No, Victoria. The Victoria, sorry. I'll turn it over. There she is. Bunhead. Uh, I think it's a shilling. Hey, while we're at it, just check it to the size of that shilling. I was trying to get a proper date. 1800. Eight, yeah, it's 80 something. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. a shilling. It's a shilling, yeah. Uh, I'll try and clean it up, see can I get something better on that. Uh, it's 1845, I think that is for. I'll have a proper look and see can I get a date. I'm gonna stick it in the video. So, yeah. Another and find no, here. No good day. Lots of finds, more silver. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, that's why we'll call the field the silver field, because that's yeah. all we seem to get off it all the time. Uh, we've had the one hammered. Yeah, but we're definitely not leaving this. Uh, there's loads to do on it yet. Uh, we've not really scratched the surface, but since it's been played, bloody hell, the barn is unbelievable. Just coming up, coming up, coming on. Just you got to go over it to find it. Yeah, but for Cancel, I think we've had about four or five bits. Yep. I right, say, so see the junk what we had. Have the Enna. Well, what we've been on here since half past ten this morning. Half ten this morning, and it's what now? It's about half past five. So yeah, about half five. five. So it's good five six hours. Good few hours, yeah. Yeah, good few hours. And a good turn out. Yeah, not too bad. So from the detective Jim and Detective Paul, catch you on the next one. See you on the next.